something dark and scary. There were two girls named Kimmy and Suzumi. They had been best friends ever since they started school together. When they went to the university, the girls shared the same dorm room. Kimmy slept in the top bunk and Suzumi slept on the bottom bunk. One day, Kimmy came back from class and Suzumi wasn't in the room. She tried to call her friend, but Suzumi's phone was either out of coverage or switched off. She looked around the room and noticed that all Suzumi's things were still there. In her suitcase was still sitting on the top of the wardrobe. Kimmy began to get worried. She kept sending text messages saying, Please call me. And are you okay? But there was no reply. The next morning, when Suzumi still hadn't shown up, Kimmy called all her friends, but none of them had seen her. She kept calling Suzumi's phone, but there was no answer. Finally, Kimi sent a message asking, where are you? I'm really worried about you, please text me back. That night, when Kimi was lying in bed, she received a text message. It was from Suzumi. It simply read, back to back. Kimi was stunned. She couldn't understand what the message meant. As she was puzzled over it, she noticed there was a strange, sickly sweet smell in the room. She began to look around searching for the source of stench. She pulled things out of the wardrobe, but she couldn't find anything that could be causing the smell. She pulled down Suzumi's suitcase and opened it, but it was empty. Turning around, she looked at Suzumi's bed. With trembling fingers, she reached out and pulled the covers off the bottom bunk, but there was nothing there. Then, Kimmy happened to glance up and let out a horrible scream. She found herself face to face with the rotting corpse of Suzumi. It turned out that an intruder had broken into the dorm room. Suzumi had accidentally stumbled across him during the robbery. He murdered her and hid her body by strapping it to the underside of the top bunk. Kimmy finally understood what the message meant. She was lying back to back with Suzumi. <laughs> <laughs> 